This is Edward Ojambo. Ojambo.com has a new article about HTML5 game physics. The link is ojambo.com slash HTML5 hyphen game hyphen physics hyphen velocity. So in the first uh, series, uh, we'll talk about position and velocity. Basically, we'll just create a character that on the canvas that will go horizontally from the left to the right. As usual, the entire code and everything is available on ojambo.com. If you ever need help uh, with web or mobile applications, please visit ojamboservices.com. That's O-J-A-M-B-O-S-E-R-V-I-C-E-S dot com in the Toronto, Ontario area. Okay, let's begin. So I've created a HTML5 uh, index.html file. So the title will just be HTML5, Game Physics, uh, ve Position and Velocity. Then I will go and create a canvas element. I'll give it an identifier, unique identifier, so we can target it. And we'll style it. Just this is only for you guys, so you can see uh, you can see where the canvas is. So we're going to just give it a width of about eighty percent. Height is not really important right now. Background, make it green just so it stands out. And then I could put the JavaScript uh, just below it. This is just to make it easy to follow along the tutorial. That way I don't have to create stuff like onload or use uh, libraries. So all the variables for our character will be inside here. For example, the position, the starting position will be 0 x0 zero and y0 zero, and the width will be about 20 and height will be about 20 and its velocity to begin with will just be 1 I'll explain this more in the later tutorials uh, so obviously we need to grab the canvas element so it's going to be a global variable because we're going to use it in functions so it will be document dot get element by ID. Remember the ID we created was my canvas. Then uh, in order to create the 2D drawing we need to uh, use the get context uh, method. Once again we'll create another uh, global variable so it will be my canvas get context it will be 2D for 2D drawing. And then we want to update it every 20 milliseconds. And once again, I'll explain this more when we do the other tutorials, when we do the frames per second. Um, so what we'll do is basically, we'll call a function called draw, which I haven't created yet. So just, and then that's basically it. And then just put 20 for 20 milliseconds. And then now we're gonna create our draw function. First thing we we'll do is we we'll declare the previous display. So because it's going to be a rectangle, uh, it's uh, we we'll clear everything basically from the canvas width and height. So everything will be cleared. Zero zero that's x and y and its width and height. So that will cover the x and y uh, width and height. And then we update the rectangular uh, position to be the previous velocity and y doesn't really doesn't really change it's always going to be the same basically zero then we'll draw uh, basically we'll give it a weird color so you guys can see it let's uh, make it red I'm using just the hexadecimal ff 0000 and then to actually draw our rectangle we use the fill rect and these variables were the ones we created earlier x y and its width and height and that's it we're done I just made one little mistake 
and that mistake was right there should be interval not internal okay now i'll run it in the browser in ice weasel which is basically just firefox rebranded you can see it just goes across okay i hope you find this tutorial useful the entire tutorial can be found at ojambo.com please visit and leave feedback